Hey guys, welcome back to Technical Gunny Beard and today we have a gun here that's uh, pretty popular right now uh, in the US and uh, also here in Europe. Here we have the Kanik TP9 Elite Combat FDE. <laughs> In this package you have a lot of things other uh, manufacturers don't provide in their guns or in their packages. Um, so for about 800 euros you get a full package with everything that you need. And um, most of the times the Kanik um, has some pros that you, don't can that you don't find on other big manufacturers. So let's check it out. I'm gonna show you through that and You'll see what you have with this gun here. So what's inside? Here you have a lot of uh, manuals, two of those, and warning signs, how to do it, how to operate it, and how don't. So um, first thing I see here is with this gun, you get a holster. So please tell me, one of the manufacturers who gives you a holster with it. I don't know about it or any of them. So that's pretty cool. We'll talk about that later. And this one comes with a 15 rounds magazine and an 18 rounds magazine. Also you have uh, this speed loader in here. Then you have these four adapter plates. You can put almost any optics on it. You can put on uh, Dr. Sides, Miopta, Insight, Vortex, Trichicon, Seymour, Leopold, Shield, J-Point and Holosun. So almost everyone fits on this. Here you have another adapter plate for the holster. For the grips, you have interchangeable grips for your hand, for bigger hands and for smaller hands. That's something many people or many manufacturers provide nowadays, but that's pretty cool. Here we have a, a brush and some tools to clean your gun. And because you have a threaded barrel, here you have this wrench uh, for putting on and off your threaded barrel. Um, here we have an ambidextrous mag release. You can pull that out and set it on the other side. And you have uh, different sizes. Also you have a um, salient arms barrel and a surefire trigger, which is really crisp. I'll show it in a minute. Also you have metal magazines, fiber optic on the front. So we have an overall length of 7.88 inches and a barrel length of 4.73 inches. The weight is 25.80 ounces. The 18 round magazine has a weight of 3.46 ounces. All in all, it's a, a good weight for a um, polymer grip weapon. So I like the weight, it's pretty solid. So now we talk about the innovative points of this gun. Uh, first off, you have this indicator in here that if your striker is ready, you see that red point here. And if you pull the trigger, it vanishes. But what if you load your gun like this? So gun is empty. This is what you see. And if you have a round inside here, this thing will pop up and you have a red sign in here that shows you you have a round in the chamber. So tell me a gun where you know that is a run round in the chamber. I don't know of any. So this is something really, really cool. Now we're gonna show you the Surefire trigger. It's really crisp and um, look at that. Gonna make the Striker ready again. Now look at the reset. The reset is exactly here. 
amazing. I like the reset. Feels super cool and really, really fast. Okay, guys, let's talk about the holster. Of course, you have that adapter here to put on almost any belt. And if you put your gun into the holster here, it's a bit different than other holsters. It's locked in here where your trigger is. And to get the gun out, you have to pull that lever to the back and then pull out your gun. One of the good things is your finger is up here and not on a trigger. It's on here on your slide. It's pretty safe. But the other downside is it's pretty hard to pull it if you have small hands like me. You have this stippling here which makes it easy to pull. If you change your um, iron sights to a red dot you lose um, the ability to have the iron sights at the back because they are attached to that plate. But I don't think that it's necessary to have an iron sight on here, uh, I mean a red dot, because the iron sights are pretty good. As you can see, it's pretty wide and you have this fiberglass optic in here, which is very bright and I think it's, it's pretty good. So for the disassembly, it's pretty easy. You have these two blocks here, pull them down, just pull them down and pull it off. It's that easy. So recross pin uh, outside and you have a left threaded barrel in here, pull it off the cap. And there you have it, pretty easy to operate, um, easy to clean. All you have to do is find that gap here, put it on, and that's it. It's so easy. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sadly, we can't go shoot, um, so I won't know how this thing operates on the shooting range. But maybe we can give you a footage of that later on that channel. So please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Gunny out.